Hi everyone, this is my new project. In this uh, house on main floor I want to start doing <coughs> double glue down. First of all I want to do a cork, uh, one quarter inch and then over uh, cork I want to do a uh, harder floor. Before I start floor installation, so I have to check quality of this subfloor. So here is radiant heat subfloor and um, Concrete subfloor, and it was long time ago built this house. If you have a look on this floor, here is many white spots. I don't know what the material is, but I am uh, I am make sure it's not uh, glue it. Uh, it's not glue, not stick with this material. Somebody said it's mud for drywall. So everywhere uh, people. Who did this floor before they patch it with this mat so first of all i have to take this mat off and uh, check uh, where is the humps and spots so when i check this floor it, so it cro across the direction so direction should be from back side door to entrance long long way so you see there is gap approximately uh, almost half inch all the way but uh, when I check this entrance to the kitchen it's <laughs> this was more problem because look how the straight edge going up so here is a place for hold my hand. So there is big hump. So I can put a lot of level in here, but it's really expensive. Or I can grind down approximately quarter inch down. It save a lot of material. What I wanna do, and then I will check. Uh, with straight edge and with laser so another problem here all the way here you see here is a hump so I have to grind it down I can grind like half inch or more but if I grind quarter, it's good enough. And then I will patch from one side a little bit. Maybe that side when I grind it, this down. When I slide uh, aluminum straight edge, aluminum straight edge uh, makes some marks. It exactly showed where the hump. When I grind it down in quarter, maybe less, there will be flat. And I fill up, I will fill up this gap and it'll be fine. So here is it. This is place with spot and need some small grinding and patching in this dining area. So it, it's not much, but it's take time. <clears throat> Let's go. So first of all, I want to start grinding this mat, this hump uh, on the entrance to the kitchen and that spot and we will see how many bags we can spend. I'll take 15 bags, we see how it's going, okay? So I'm gonna start grinding, don't forget your knee pads, earmuffs and mask to avoid your length problem with your wind like this now, you see this piece of stone it means I already grinded approximately 
from one eight to quarter inch down. So we have here so much mud. This grinder it's really very fast to plug the vacuum. So I wanna take scraper and scrape it out as much as I can and then I, I, I can do smooth grinding. Okay, so just let's go. I use the scraper crane and blades for this scraper too ex too expensive. So I'm buying uh, blades. I'm buying blades for this knife. Also, what I'm using every day on my job sites. It here is you know 50 blades in this pack. It's not expensive. It's like 10-15 bucks in some stores on or on eBay <coughs> or <coughs> Amazon. So when I'm using these blades for this, it's really cheap and always sharp. Okay, go ahead. Don't start from the middle because it's very hard. Just start from the side. Here is just little left, and I want to just make some smooth grinding. If you're doing any floors, floating floor, blue down floor, you have to remove this mud because if you want to uh, self leveling over this mud, it doesn't stick, you know, and you will have problem in the future. So. Okay, I'm gonna make smooth grinding here. Now I wanna check what I grind here and take this mat from here, how the level look like. If you have a look on that this side, if you remember here is I can put my hand under, but now it's I can't, I can't. So and there is right there. If you see here is some little gap because here is still high, and I need to grind down it's this this place. I need to grind down another one eight, and when it be flat, here is getting lower and I need to put less leveling, okay? So I'm gonna go grinding more. You can see where is the highest spot. You see? Black. It's highest spot. Need to grind it down. One more. here if you try it. so we have to just fill up this area okay so now I wanna scrape all spots with mud with scraper and then make it smooth grinding and also I wanna remove this glue it's easy with grind because it's it's 
glue very old and hard surface, it's take off very easy. So let's go. Dust is most of dust here, so almost full. And if you remember, I use simple rigid vacuum twist. I just yesterday put new first tool back, nice back. You can clean it a few times. Usually, I use this back one, maybe two months many drops now five bags cost over 70 bucks but anyway it's it's really cheap for one year 70 bucks is nothing now i want to clean up this bucket and start another grinding this area now i finish grinding glue and the whole white spot is mud kitchen area is ready for prime primer and uh, I want to cover walls fill up all holes and start leveling now I see floor in the kitchen and let's start put foam there are some walls for heat protection and for expansion for everything So now I want to start the primer. This is L primer, regular flat primer for country. I mix 50-50 primer with water to better absorption wood. Here and around the wall I will cover this T primer. It's special for So, and how a check is it good 
you open the grinder or not. If it's very straight, self flowing and dump out. If you see some air bubbles on top of self leveling, it means primer. You put primer the properly and air coming out from the country. The sub tanking support. When you put properly, support completely insulated this primer. Not any air coming from the bottom, nothing. It's getting green. So, right there. We will see the whole picture. I remove all <coughs> mud from the floor, all concrete, make it rough. I hope everything will be fine. Don't leave any empty spots, just cover every, everything. If you, it's not enough, like here a little bit. With more, more and more. So I put primer first and then I will seal it. Why I do first primer? Because it takes time when primer getting dry. When I seal the whole holes, it takes that it takes time primer would be ready for, for apply self leveling compound. Next step I want to apply wood primer. Primer T. It looks different color. Before it was white, now they change uh, color. Now it's pink. It's better because when it's white, you can you can see. You know it. So this primer I'm using without any in water, just as it is. Then I want to put the spray to the wood here on the side. So wood, I primer the I put primer on over the wood, over the concrete. Now I want to start sealing. I already fill up with scalp all gaps or all cracks insulate all this any any holes which is avoid the silicone avoid any leaking downstairs because there is basement so now I wanna I wanna start <coughs> Install tripods in this area and I will show you how to do it. High spot in this area and maybe quarter inch higher on this <coughs> entrance. But I do not want to rise whole floor. I, I slightly come to this point and then grind a little bit and that's it. I have mark. This is exactly, this mark exactly this red line, which is, it showed me zero. So now we're going 
far away. I'll take this. For example, this is one arm, this is half inch. So I put it on the plate. That's it. It's set up. have a look it's visible how many self leveling material you have to add
If you remember yesterday I finish this area, it's kitchen area, I grind glue out and mud and then I did leveling. So look how it's perfect. It's all directions the same. You see? 